Well, Simon, where to start? I mean, it feels like a result like that has been on the cards for a while now. What pleased you most about the performance today? Um, I thought it was um, I thought it was very professional. That's what I thought. Um, obviously, there's moments in games that change games, and um, you know we've been on the end of that this season. You know, so it was um, obviously a decision and a penalty and a red card. You know, which you know had an impact on the match, but. Having said that, I thought we were we were devastating, you know, in the last third of the pitch tonight. And and you're right, you know, in terms of recent recent games, recent performances, I thought I thought we deserved that tonight. I thought the boys' professionalism um, and and we were ruthless tonight. In terms of goals, I mean, it's a bit from from famine to a feast, really. I mean, and I suppose Solihull will probably point to that red card as a as a turning point in the game, but it's never quite that simple, is it? No. And you really drove home the advantage. No, that's right, and credit to the players for that. You know, they they stayed focused, didn't allow didn't allow what what was going on to affect what they wanted to do. And you're right. I mean, um, that you know, the goals that haven't been there in the last game or two, but for me, they were, the goals were there tonight, but. The, the aspects of the performance that's still there that were there in the other games too, you know. I think um, obviously in recent games we've been really solid generally, you know, very very hard to break down, very hard to beat, and we've had, you know, possession stats have been good, um, you know, and, and overall perhaps we just haven't had that rubber the green free cleared off the line Saturday, and then the margins in the game sometimes. So for me it's about us maintaining them principles and levels of performance over a long long period of time. And you will get moments that go for you some weeks and you will get moments in football that go against you. And it's about us always being able to say that, you know, the things we're trying to be brilliant at, we're, you know, we're trying to do in the game. And, um, and and tonight, obviously, our quality came through. We spoke on Saturday about how big a, rig, uh, how big a miss John Rooney was uh, in that game, but he showed what he can bring to the team today in that first half, especially with that second goal. Yeah, listen, we, we know John's qualities and um, he, he would be a mess, a miss in any situation. So... Um, for any team so it's great to have him back tonight and you're right he showed his quality but he was part of a really good team display you know it's a quick start by, by Solihull and we had to adapt to one or two situations and I thought the players adapted to that tactically very quickly uh, and we gained control of the game and ultimately the um, you know the red card comes for a really really good bit of play from us on the transition so you know that that's ultimately happened through the players quality. Alex Reid's obviously been in amongst the goals all season, but a bit more of a creative role for him today. And yeah. his link-up play with Harry Cardwell was, was really good in that first half. What did you make of his performance? Yeah, r really good. Um, and I thought they, they combined well tonight. And you, you're right to, to point out that you know Reid, had a, you know, he's had a lot of goals perhaps gave into him this year from other teammates. And it's nice for him to contribute back the other way. So that's part of his development. I think that's an area of the game where he can be a little bit more global, and I think he would say that. So, um, you know, really pleasing that there's the first signs of that tonight, and you know, happy for him. Good performance. First start for Harry Cardwell. I thought he was unlucky not to score on Saturday. Got a goal today, and he seems to have settled in really well. Yeah, that's right. I mean, um, what I would say is, um, for any new signing, this is a good group of good group of lads to come into. So it doesn't surprise me that people settle quickly in, in and around the group. And I thought that was evident with his level of performance on the pitch tonight. So I think, um, like everyone, there's bits to work on. Um, but I think overall, Harry can be happy with his contribution. You've been able to add even more firepower to the squad in midweek with the signing of Jack Stretton. And a great moment for him in the second half to mark his debut with a goal. And how, what will he bring to the team going forward? Well, look, Jack's got you know energy. He's, he's quick. He would be a problem for, for teams in behind. So... Um, and I thought he showed that tonight. He's probably unlucky not to get another penalty with his with his movement in behind. But really nice for him to get a goal, um, and that's a really good platform for him to build on for his confidence and yeah, encourage him. Obviously, the other signing was was Nathan Shaw from Blackpool, another very highly rated young player coming into the squad. What will he bring to the team? Um, yeah, well, look, we we certainly are going to need depth um, at the moment, so we've got. Um, something we've had to look at and Nathan will bring that depth to the group you know obviously we're about Mark Kitchen at the minute which is a miss so we just need to make sure we've got the bases covered and then we can we can keep a healthy level of competition in all areas of the pitch um, and that's important for any team that's going to be successful so um, it's probably really that's 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 where we're looking to go to and that's um, you know that's a really plus for, a big plus for me as a manager and a coach to be looking on the side and seeing got good competition got good competition on the training pitch and it keeps people pushing in a healthy direction. Just looking forward, two home games now against teams in the bottom half of the division in Dagenham and Barnet. So yeah. it's an opportunity now to, I suppose, really start building some momentum going forward. Yeah, that's right. And um, I mean, listen, I, I would say that the result is great for us tonight and the performance is excellent. But 
you know, there, there's been large aspects over the past three or four weeks that I've been really happy with, and you know, we could have quite easily been sitting with you know really solid one nil wins and then points on the board, and it's then margins. So, having said that, it is really good for the players to to get that win tonight and the fashion of it and the goals and the clean sheet. You know, it's important. I mean, it's as you rightly alluded to earlier, just going going down to ten men can be a really difficult thing to break down. So I think we actually, you know, we have to we have to credit the players. It was not a straightforward task to do that. So you know, really happy from that point of view. Simon, thanks for your time. Have a safe journey home. Yeah, thanks very much. And I'd just like to add as well, you know, my condolences to Tom Bennett. Tom's someone I know personally, and his family have had some really difficult news, and I'm sure all Stockport County fans and, and the club in general. Are, you know, uh, hurting for Tom. We wish him and his family well over the coming days. It's really well said. We all send our best wishes to Tom. Thank you. Thank you.